In this video, we'll cover component attachment in a little bit more detail, and specifically we'll deal with Cartesian attachment or component attachment. If we click on this part and choose the Transform tab, we can see that Attached to Parent is set to None for both translation and rotation. And this is indicated by this arrow pointing to the right showing that it's not attached in any way to its parent. Now a child is defined by this right-hand indentation, and both of these components are children. You can have as many levels of hierarchy inside the model tree as you like, but for right now, we'll deal with this simple representation. Now, we're working in an absolute coordinate system where the nose of this pod is set to the origin. But if we attach it to the parent in the component space, notice that its origin has snapped to the wing origin here. In the relative box, which is grayed out right now, you can see that the pod is minus three ahead of the wing. Now, if we turn on relative, we have control of that relative spacing by moving this around. For now, let's just set it back to minus three and look at what else we can do here. So with both of these attached, we can go to the wing geometry and move it around in space and all of these components will move along with it because they're both attached. We set this back to three, turn off this component attachment Notice that because I had relative active and I set it to none, it made that relative value the absolute value and pushed the part ahead. That's not really what we wanted it to do. We wanted it to stay in place. So you have to be careful when you turn on relative or absolute or attach or unattach a component that you do it in the right order. So for right now, let's set component back, set absolute to the coordinate system we want. Now we unattach the origin of the part is set back to where we want it, and we can leave it alone. Now let's click on the wing and drag this around. Notice that the wing and these child pods out here move around, but that middle pod, even though it is still a child, isn't moving with it. So there's a variety of ways that you can attach and translate components in VSP and very cleverly manipulate how things move relative to one another. If we click on this and choose a component attachment, the origin is here, but we leave the rotation alone. Let's come back to our wing again, and now we're gonna change the Y rotation of this component. Now these pods are attached in rotation, and this one isn't. So if we move our X, notice that translation is still attached, but rotation isn't. So depending on how you want your model to behave, you can set the attachment characteristics between your different components in really interesting and complicated ways to make your vehicle behave a certain way. If we come back and turn on rotation for all these components and try this once again, now the entire vehicle is rotating about the wing's origin right here.